Okay, so we're working through the construction of a prototype of this chair, and there's a couple of different ways that you can uh, do the front panel. Um, in the plan, it kind of shows, you know, you can, the panel is just like two boards that run this way, and then there's a five that run this way. And it's however you want it, however you want it to look. I mean, you can have it uh, in tight, close like this. The plan actually shows it like this, where the end panels are, this one's in from here, so you can do spacing like that, or you can move it to here, of course, space them out evenly, like that, or you can go right to the end, and again, space them out evenly. So I think this is what I'm going to try, see how it looks. Hindsight, of course, part of the design, uh, the boards might look a little short. But there's still plenty to screw into. So we're going to go with that and see how that works out. So the next step, we got our front panel on. And we got this two side pieces on. And then I went and just found, spun it around. And I got the center line of here, which is right there, put on this back panel. So those three are done. So now we're going to put on the hoop that's left. I'm just going to spin this, drop it down. So, now, I think maybe the easiest way to do this, but well, before we go to install it, we have to decide where we want this hoop to end. Do we want it right at the end? Do we want it something like three quarters of an inch from the top? Or do we want to go further down? It's really all dependent, again, on what kind of style you want to have as a finished piece. I went with three quarters of an inch and so what I'm going to do is first thing is I'm going to screw it right to here. I'm going to look up underneath, I'm going to look for that mark pencil line, I'm going to get that attached and then once that's attached then we'll be able to mount these in place. And then all that's left is to put the straps on. Okay, so the top hoop is on. And the only step left now is to put on the remaining straps for the back of the chair. And you want them to be evenly spaced. So we have eight slats left to install. I mean, four on this side here and four on the other side. So I took a measurement. And the easy way to make them evenly spaced, I just took my tape. And I went around and it comes to 19 inches. So we got from here to here is 19 inches. We're pretty close. So slats I'm using are three and a half. So four times three and a half is 14. So 14 from 19 is five. And of course, you got four slats going across. Four slats means five spaces. So you got five inches left. Remember, it was 19 minus 14, gives you 5 inches for gaps, and there's 5 gaps, so it works out pretty good. You got an inch per gap. You can do a tape measure or just cut off a short block of wood and make a, a 1 inch little block, and that's your space for going all the way around. That's a quick tip on uh, putting the slats and making them evenly spaced.